their re-entry. And uh, we are standing by. It's been about four minutes now since that loss of signal began. That's an estimated seven minutes. The plasma is building up on the outside of the capsule as it continues entering the Earth's atmosphere. The temperatures around the capsule building up to 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit. And this view from our WV-57 aircraft with uh, its thermal imaging cameras, we will be looking for uh, the Crew Dragon to come into view, and there you can see it in the entry of Earth's atmosphere, Crew Dragon continuing its journey home. So there's a material uh, on the bottom of the capsule. PICA 3.0 stands for uh, Phenolic Impregnated uh, Carbon Ablator. That is the material that is really shielding the capsule from all of that extreme temperature. And so the, the capsule itself goes in sort of bottom first, and um, uh, that lightweight material, oh, and that is uh, just a fantastic shot. That is the dragon re-entering the Earth's atmosphere as it uh, leaves that trail behind. Um, and then again, that, that, that illumination is from all of that heat um, uh, that is building up uh, due to friction of just the re-entry speeds of dragon when it meets the Earth's atmosphere. And that view coming from the boat, Go Navigator. Crew Dragon continuing, as you said, into to enter Earth's atmosphere. So uh, having these two views right now with it being a, uh, a nighttime splashdown, pretty exciting that we're getting uh, two, two good views upon reentry into Earth's atmosphere. So again, a lot of things are happening uh, pretty rapidly here. In about three minutes, the first set of parachutes will deploy. They are drogue chutes. They are conical in nature, and their job is to uh, stabilize and begin sort of the initial uh, deceleration of the vehicle, followed uh, very shortly after by the main parachutes. There are four of them. Dragon, SpaceX, come check. And SpaceX, this is Dragon, over 4 Gs, 42 kilometers. SpaceX, we have you loud and clear. Expect automated chute deployment. And resilience copies. We are at 40 kilometers, 4.34 on the Gs. That's Commander Mike Hopkins reporting the Gs that they experienced upon reentry. And as you heard, we are now out of that loss of signal portion, meaning the plasma has uh, eroded away enough from the spacecraft. I think my heart skipped a beat as soon as I heard um, <laughs> the too. crew uh, <laughs> responding back. And uh, you know, one thing I did note as soon as Mike uh, turned on his comms, there was a lot of background noise, and that is sort of uh, you know the the um, after effects of Dragon's re-entry. So this view again from the WB-57 aircraft. Dragon SpaceX, a GPS is converged. Expect nominal altitude for drogue chute deploy. Resilience copies. Nominal altitude for drogue deploy. Crew Dragon Resilience now 30 kilometers over Earth. It's quite a quick drop over that uh, 100 that we saw just a few minutes ago. And now we'll be looking for drogue parachute deploy within the next minute or so at 11.52 p.m. Pacific time, 6.52 GMT. Those two drogue chutes should deploy at 18,000 feet in, out in altitude. Crew Dragon will be moving approximately 350 miles per hour. Dragon SpaceX, recovery team reports visual. Good news. We're at 20 kilometers, seats are rotating. SpaceX copies on the seat rotation. And the seats are rotating into the proper landing position. We saw them a little bit more reclined earlier, facing the top of the capsule. And uh, now they are more forward facing towards that side hatch. We also got confirmation that the recovery teams can also now see Dragon coming back. Brace for drogues. Copy, braced for drogues.
we are waiting for confirmation that the drogue chutes have deployed. We are expecting them to deploy uh, any minute now. And it looks like those might be our drogue chutes. Visual two chutes. SpaceX from Missouri, we show good droves. SpaceX copies and concurs nominal descent right on two drogues. Uh, continuing to hear good news after good news. Uh, two drogue shoots have deployed. Everything looks nominal and we're slowing the Dragon vehicle down. We are expecting the four main shoots to deploy uh, within the next minute. And those four drogue shoots. Oh, you can see them being pulled out now. Visual on four mains. And resilience copies, and we see a nominal descent rate. SpaceX copies and concern, concurs nominal descent rate. And this view coming from the WB-57, very clear image of those four main parachutes slowing the vehicle down to what will be about 16 miles per hour prior to splashdown just off the coast of Panama City, Florida. If it were daylight, we would have an image of those four beautiful parachutes being orange and white and still getting these incredible views even though we are in a nighttime splashdown. So we are waiting for uh, visuals of splashdown. The Dragon One program had great success with water landing with 20 successful splashdowns over the course of that program, nine of which were carried out by nope. flight proven Dragon spacecrafts. And space height you've broken, but we show you just under 800 meters, still good descent, right? just under 800 meters from the Earth. That's about half of a mile. And we are tracking splashdown. And 600 meters, and we're showing 10 meters per second on the descent rate, a little higher than nominal. SpaceX copies. And what a view we have here. Even though it's nighttime, uh, we have some great visuals uh, of Dragon there with his four main chutes deployed, uh, slowly coming back to Earth. Splashdown is scheduled for just a few minutes from now. Meters. Now just a quarter of a mile away from splashdown, and that splashdown time is scheduled for 11.57 p.m. Pacific time. And SpaceX, we show nominal descent rate, 200 meters, brace for splashdown. SpaceX copies, brace for splashdown. Seconds away from splashdown, everything nominal aboard Crew Dragon Resilience returning to Earth. And there are the boats starting to chase after Dragon um, to begin their recovery operations as soon as Dragon lands. And I don't know if you can hear the applause. But we have visual confirmation of the Crew-1 Resilience Capsule. That is excellent news. We are splashed down. We should, the pyros have fired or water. SpaceX copies and concurs. We do she main cut as well. So again, you heard the applause. Uh, the crew one capsule has returned. Um, 
and we have successful splashdown. The main shoots have also cut as well. The fast boats are now making their way towards the capsule to begin the recovery operations. Again, that first boat is going to um, start to inspect the capsule and make sure that there isn't any residual uh, toxic fumes in the air. Dragon, on behalf of NASA and the SpaceX teams, we welcome you back to planet Earth and thanks for flying SpaceX. For those of you enrolled in our frequent flyer program, you have earned 68 million miles on this voyage. And SpaceX, resilience, it is back on planet Earth. And we'll take those miles. Are they transferable? <laughs> and Dragon will have to refer you to our marketing department for that policy. And we are in one, that's three decimal one of 4.800. And uh, resilience, please re uh, repeat last about four decimal eight hundred. Okay, uh, we are at three, and we show stable one. SpaceX copies stable one. Good news. So a bit of levity from the crew and the core uh, about the transferable transferable uh, mileage. And that's 